Hey everyone, this is Brandon's Movie Corner, and it's time for a VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, cassette, and vinyl update for October 24th, 2024. Over the past few weeks, I got three VHS tapes, 25 DVDs, five Blu-rays, two cassettes, and three vinyl records. So, we're going to start with the three VHS tapes first. Starting with the one that I got at a church yard sale slash flea market on October 5th. This one did have the shrink wrap on the box when I got it, but it was open from the bottom. This VHS originally came out in 1987, but this is a much later reprint. November 19th, 1998. And then the other two VHS tapes I got on October 12th at a store in my hometown called Past the Present Vintage, which this is the first time I ever bought anything from that store. I've never heard of this movie until I found this tape, but it looks pretty interesting, so I decided to pick it up. And this is actually an MGM movie that was released on VHS by CBS Fox Video. And on here in the front, it's got this sticker, which I believe has the movie's title written in Braille. No print date. And here's the last VHS from the MGM Contemporary Classic series. And this one does have inserts, which will show momentarily. November 10th, 1997. And it comes with ads for MGM Vintage Classics, or this is actually con Contemporary Classics, my bad. Now here's the ad for um, MGM UA Vintage Classics. I believe these same ads also came with my VHS of West Side Story the original 1961 film. Yeah, these are kind of hard to get back in, so I'll worry about that when I'm done with the video. Now onto the DVDs, which the majority of these came from various yard sales on October 5th and the 19th. With the ex exception of two of them, which I'll point out when we get to them. Several of the DVDs that I got from the yard sales on October 19th were brand new and sealed when I got them, and this was one of them. And when I was removing the security sticker, the top, very top of the um, artwork got ripped off because the artwork was actually sticking out of the case a little bit, as you can see, and the sticker was placed right above it. But, oh well.
Now the next two DVDs are the ones that did not come from a yard sale. This one I got at Walmart on October 14th. I have seen the first episode of this show on Tubi and it was pretty good. So figured I'd get this complete series DVD set and sometime we'll check out the rest of the series. And then this DVD I got at Rite Aid on October 19th, the same day as the yard sales in my hometown. And this was actually a clearance item, so I got it for only a dollar. This DVD originally came out in 2000, but this is a 2007 reprint. Now here's another DVD that was sealed when I got it. Now this one is actually a DVD-R release. Yep, there's proof right there. And even on the back on the barcode it says manufactured by Amazon.com Lexington, Kentucky. Now here's another DVD that was sealed when I got it. And also the disc was loose in the case when I got it, when it was still sealed. But thankfully the disc is fine.
This is a former rail from Blockbuster. The Blockbuster sale date is June 19th, 2006. This DVD was also sealed when I got it. And I actually saw this movie once back around 2016 or so. And I thought it was just okay. But I decided I'm going to give this movie another try. And I know they also made a sequel of this, which I'm not sure if I'm going to bother with that or not. But we'll see. And this DVD was also sealed. This was another sealed DVD. Former rental from Blockbuster. Blockbuster sale date was October 24th, 2005, which was 19 years ago today. And this one's another former rental from Blockbuster. This time the Blockbuster sale date is August 21st, 2005.
here's the last DVD. And this one was sealed when I got it. And now onto the Blu-rays. First one I got at one of the yard sales on October 5th. Yeah, I know that these inserts and the inside of the case kind of looked like they got water damage or something. Here's the Blu-ray that I got at Walmart on October 14th. And I saw this movie in theaters. And I know some people didn't like this one, but I didn't think it was that bad. Th thought it was decent. And I also have the soundtrack to this movie on vinyl. Hold on a sec, I'm having trouble getting this back in. There we go. Now the next two Blu-rays I got from eBay. This one I bought used. I ordered it on October 7th and it came on the 15th. And this is a movie I've heard really great things about, so I look forward to checking it out sometime. And then this other one I bought brand new from eBay. I ordered it on October 2nd and it came on the 7th. And this is my second Arrow video title. The first one being the 4K of Flash Gordon. <clears throat> and I actually watched this movie last week and it was good. It even says right here, warning, this motion picture contains scenes of terror that may be... Considered too intense for anyone under the age of 18. And here's the reversible artwork. And now the last Blu-ray I received from Amazon on October 8th, and this one was a pre-order. And this is a movie I've been wanting to check out for quite a while. This did get a theatrical release in the U.S. in late May, but it was a very limited release, and my local Cinemark did not even play it. So this is a movie I'm definitely going to watch sometime soon. Probably in early November. That's it for all the movies. Now here are the two cassettes that I bought from a record store on October 5th called Abbey Road. Yeah, named after the Beatles album, the same name, which was actually right across the street from one of the yard sales I was at. Case is a little cracked right there, but it's all right. Tape itself looks fine. I'm 
sure everybody knows this song right here. Thanks to, thanks to the Rickroll meme. And now on to the three records. The first two I got from that same record store on October 5th. And just like with the last update, I'm not going to show the records themselves to save time. I'm just going to show the covers. And here's the last one, which I got at a yard sale on October 19th. I also had the soundtrack to the first Godfather on vinyl, so I figured I'd get this too. And that's going to do it for this VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, cassette, and vinyl update for October 24th, 2024. Thank you all for watching. This is Brands Movie Corner signing off.